Letters are among the first forms of written interaction among humans. We write letters on paper, Egyptians wrote them on papyrus, which is the same word as paper. And what do we write letters for? Sometimes to express our feelings, sometimes to complain about our family, as the author of the letter from Del Medina you are just about to see. Actually, we don't really write letters on paper anymore. We rather write SMS or WhatsApp messages. But we do keep doing the same thing. Sometimes we text our joy, sometimes our concerns. This is precisely what our project Crossing Boundaries does. We transform the voice of the ancient ones into understandable messages. We make Egyptian papyri fit for the age of WhatsApp. Thanks to the distinctive handwriting of this scribe, we know that this letter was written in the time of the early Ramesside period. But thanks to the rich written material from Del Medina, we can narrow it down even further. The names of the sender and addressee lead us to the family of Tachat. In this message, the daughter Henut Merud writes to her mother Tachat to complain about her siblings. In order to identify the other individuals mentioned in the letter, it is possible to investigate places and objects from Del Medina connected to them. Stele, tombs, funerary equipment, statues and even the houses they lived in. Combining all these pieces of information, we can conclude that this letter must have been written around the regnal year 50 of King Ramesses II, also known as Ramesses the Great. The first step is to transcribe the cursive script into nice hieroglyphs that any Egyptologist can understand. To this end, we use a dedicated piece of software called JSESH that enables us to encode the hieroglyphs in a digital format pretty easily. And of course, generations of scholars have been working on the Turing collection in the past, which means that we can sometimes benefit from existing transcriptions, in this case, one made by Rob de Marais. This image of the letter serves as a basis for creating a hieroglyphic transcription of the papyrus for the upcoming publication. The aim is to make the complex hieratic script easier to understand for other scholars. First, the outline of the papyrus is traced in a vector graphics editor. Then, the previously generated hieroglyphic text is added. The signs are arranged in such a way that each hieroglyph is placed exactly at the same position of its corresponding hieratic sign, 